Today's video and the new log line of sensors are brought to you by ISCO Scientific. New log sensors are a laboratory data collection platform which utilizes plug and play technology to cut down on setup times and increase the time spent learning. Hi, today we're going to examine both elastic and inelastic collisions using the new log force plate sensor. In physics, an elastic collision is when two or more objects collide and bounds apart. Think two bowling balls colliding. An inelastic collision is when two or more objects collide and combine. Think of two balls of clay smashed into each other to form one larger ball. Before we begin collecting data, we must first configure the new log software for our experiment. Once your force plate sensor has been detected, click Online Experiment, and then click on the Experiment Setup button and set the experiment duration to 10 seconds and the sampling rate will set to 100 per second. Now let's look at an elastic collision. For this, we'll again jump up, but this time when we land, absorb the blow and then launch yourself off again. Now let's look at an inelastic collision. We'll do this by jumping up, landing on the sensor, and quickly bouncing off. We see that the elastic collision has an area two times larger than the inelastic collision. It may be easiest to picture the collision in two segments, landing on the force plate and jumping off the force plate. Remember that force equals mass times acceleration. So when I land on the force plate for each type of collision, the force must be the same. Now on the elastic collision, I must also jump off, which requires more force to propel myself off the force plate. If I jump in the same fashion, it should be similar to the force I landed with. For more information on new log sensors, please visit our website at newlog.com. Thanks for watching.